replace, if necessary, the slide and turn the crank 60 degrees through top dead center toward the exhaust side. Use the manual control of the turning gear device to bring the crankshaft into the correct position. Remove the piece of rubber from the crank pin. Check the shaft on damage. Clean the shaft thoroughly and check if the lubrication oil canals are clean. Start with mounting the upper bearing shell. This is the shell without the lubricating oil supply groove. Oil the bearing surface with clean engine lubricating oil. The back surface needs to be clean and oil free. Before the bearing shell is mounted, the bore and joint faces of the cap must be checked for damage. Make sure that the positioning lip of the bearing fits into the appropriate recess in the cap. Then, divide the shell proportionally over the joint faces of the cap. Move the upper bearing cap against the shaft. Then, oil the lower bearing shell. This one can be recognized by the uninterrupted lubricating oil groove. Repeat the preceding procedure. Check before both caps are moved against each other if the position of the dowel pins from the joint faces are correct. The bearing caps are marked with camshaft side. Now apply the upper two nuts. Turn them by hand as far as possible with a special pin. Subsequently remove both carriers and apply the two remaining nuts. Turn the crank in top position and remove the slide. To pump the bearing caps tight, the crank should be turned into bottom dead center position. While doing this, guide the bearing block to prevent getting it stuck in the engine. Place the hydraulic tools again proportionally on both sides. After connecting the hydraulic hoses, turn the knurled jack nuts down. Subsequently, bring the jacks simultaneously to full pressure. Tighten the nuts with a special pin and check if all four nuts have the same displacement. Release the hydraulic pressure on the jacks until zero. Completely tighten the knurled nuts of the jacks again. Bring for the second time the prescribed pressure to the jacks and tighten the nuts further if possible. Repeat the procedure once again. When the jacks are brought under pressure for the third time, the nuts should not turn any further. Check the oil clearance of the bearing with feeler gauges. 